Welcome to our seven day Terracera Island, Portugal and Lisbon getaway. We're going to share our experiences that we had with this trip and also show you some tips and tricks along the way. So let's get started. Our trip begins in Toronto, our home base. We took a flight with Sata Airlines from Toronto to Terracera Island, Portugal. It was only a five hour flight. And when we got there, it was a very smooth transition. There were no forms to fill, um, no questions asked. We got a stamp uh, on our passports and away we went. Uh, from the airport to the city would cost you about 18 euros. We had a bus waiting for us because it was a part of a package deal with AzoreGetaways.com. For $600 in January per person, it would include flight and hotel accommodations with breakfast for seven days. Wow, we thought that was a really good deal. If you actually have um, a car, uh, renting a car, there's plenty of parking at the back as you see here. Breakfast, we were not disappointed. There were a lot of food options available to you. And if you need to do any shopping and buy any stuff, um, you can actually do grocery shopping and it's just up the road right here. Uh, as you can see, it was really close by. And the only disappointment is that uh, anytime you wanted to go to the city, there's an incline because you have to walk downhill there. So I would recommend that at the square, you can actually take a bus coming back up for 30 cents if you take the small bus. So we started to explore Angro de Hiroshima, the main city of Terracera Island. It's a World Heritage UNESCO site. Um, as you can see all the old buildings and the cobblestone on the floor. We had uh, uh, a gala, which is essentially a latte at Sandexa, which is close to the harbor outside. We strolled around the harbor it was, uh, and took a lot of pictures. So it was a nice uh, and enjoyable early morning stroll around the city. Our first lunch was actually across the street from the hotel. It was a firehouse on the second floor. We actually eat with locals there. Um, the price was really good. It includes a soup and a drink, which could and include red wine or white wine. And this was one of the meals, it had fried fish with a side salad and potatoes. Then we also had another one with pasta here, chicken pasta. And it includes a dessert. And if you get uh, coffee, it actually comes as espresso. All of this for two people was only 11 euros. We thought that was an incredible deal. If you're into museums, I would definitely recommend the Angro de Hiroshima Museum. For only two euros, you get to visit um, a church inside, as well as the entire history of the island, how it was discovered, the war that went on, um, as well as the earthquake in 1980 and how it was rebuilt in only three years. Uh right beside the museum, there is a public free garden and it's very beautiful. There's many types of trees and flowers and different types of species that you can look at. And what's great about it is also you can do a short hike. Uh, there's a trail, walking trail that takes you all the way up to the monument of King Dom Pedro IV. And from there, you can actually see the whole view of the entire city, which is actually absolutely spectacular. It has a panoramic view of the entire island. One of the nights we went to a restaurant steakhouse called Cachalate. What's great is that they actually have um, one where it's, it's, uh, it's being sizzled on a hot plate and the hot plate is actually the lava stone. So the owner actually heats it up for you, grills it for you and then serves you the first bite. Uh, it was a really nice experience. Uh, the, the steak was nice and tender, very delicious and the meal for two people with the drink was only 32 euros. It's, uh, definitely good value for the money. We also went on a full day tour with Azor Getaways for $90 Canadian. Uh, they took us to Monte Brazil, which is uh, very close by Angro. It's one of the highest areas. You can overlook the entire city as well. It was a very pretty sight to take pictures. And then they also took us down to the area where there's the bull statues. And then they took us to Praia de Victoria, 
Oh, here is actually Goat Island. Um, they also took us to Praia de Victoria, which is here. Um, it's a beach area, but in the spring, there's not much people on the beach. But in the summer, I'm sure this place would be really a really nice area to sit around and relax. Then we went had a, a alcatra, which is a Portuguese beef stew, and that was delicious. And then we visited some of the cows and the small baby cows. Um, and the main attraction, of course, was the going inside a volcano. For eight euros, you get to go inside the volcano. It goes through a tunnel, and then on the other end, you will actually see um, the inside of the volcano. I think um, Iceland is the other place that has this um, has a has allows you to go inside a volcano. So in the whole world, there's only two places that I know of, I think. And then you see a cenote at the bottom. Uh, and then afterwards, we just basically visited the, uh, the Furnas, which is uh, a place where it's like a lot of smoking and you smell all sulfur and stuff. For 75 euros, we took a round trip with Ryanair to Lisbon, Portugal. It was about a two and a half, three hour flight. And when we arrived, uh, we took a Uber to our hotel. But when you take a Uber, make sure you go to um, departures instead of arrival, because that's where they pick you up. Uh, it was a 20 minute ride, less than 18 euros. And we arrived at our hotel. Um, I don't remember the name of it, but uh, you can actually check the description below and uh, read it because it's uh, kind of like a Portuguese name. But the reason why we took it is because it was close to the Thai Mount Market. It's a trendy upscale uh, food court and it's close to, the, close to the harbor and right beside it there's also a farmer's market where you can buy groceries and also check out the seafood if you want. Uh, but the reason why we wanted to stay was actually the Thai Mount Market because uh, that's uh, where all the Everything is conjugated in one place. We can try different types of food. Uh, first one up we had was the uh, minced bacala, which is codfish with potato. And this was one of the other favorites that we really liked was actually the octopus. It was nice and tender and juicy. And right below the octopus is also potato. For some reason, we thought that in Portugal, all the potatoes really taste really good. Uh, another night, we also had the pan-seared uh, medium rare tuna, and that was only for 10 euros. I thought that was a really good deal. And then we had another uh, bacalao, uh, salted codfish with the potatoes and some type of uh, oh, turnip tops. It was that's what it was. And of course, we always have to cap it off with the uh, Portuguese tarts. Um, this was one of the uh, one of the good ones that they said they recommended in the timeout market. And then we also took a stroll. Uh, midnight or 1 a.m. on the pink, uh, pink road. In the morning we had the uh, breakfast that was included and it did not disappoint. There was plenty of options available and one of the most memorable ones was actually the rampanada. It was a uh, day right here, day old bread that was uh, refried and uh, coated, with sh uh, powder, coated with sugar and as you can see it's steaming nice and hot. I really like that one. a full day tour uh, outside the city uh, for $80 per person. We went to uh, the Sanctuary of Fatima where the Virgin Mary appeared to reveal her aberrations. People from all over the world come to this site to worship. Then we went to the Monastery of Italia and that was built to thank the Virgin Mary for the Portuguese victory over the Castalians in 1385, fulfilling a promise of King John I of Portugal. Then we had lunch in this, uh, this area, um, we had a soup and then it was also the first time we had sardines because Portugal is known for their sardines so we had sardines and that was pretty tasty. See again, uh, this is the regular side salad with potatoes. And we also had this very crispy uh, pastry, um, just hot out, out of the oven. Inside, I believe it was um, carrot or sweet potato, I'm not sure, but it was really good. And then we went to uh, Nazar. Nazar was amazing because you overlook the ocean and you see the, the town. Um, if I had to choose again, definitely I would have uh, lunch here. This, this would be the perfect eating spot. Then we went to the town of 
Ob Ob Obidos is, and that's located in the, on the hilltop, and it's encircled by a fortified wall. It has some uh, medieval architecture and is popular tourist uh, destination um, and with lots of uh, tiny shops and cafes. Here we had some uh, some some galau drink, um, and this is, so this is where they bake the bread and pastries. And again, we had the galau, which is the latte with whipped cream. The next morning, we bought a 24-hour bus and subway pass at the metro station for 6 euros and took number 15 west, Bellum. There we saw an impressive monastery. It was huge. And then we walked to the harbor to see the monument, the water, and the suspension bridge. Then we made our way back to Bellum, uh, Bellum Pastry Shop. And this is the reason we really wanted to go to Bellum. The pastry shop originated back in 1837. The monastery monks sold their secret recipe to them and they sell about 20,000 pastries a day. Honestly, I had a tart at Time Out Market, at the hotel in Terracera, and here in Bellum, and all are really good. Bellum does taste a little eggier and more crispy than the others, but I, like I said, they all are really, really good. And here you see, uh, they also, every time you buy a pastry, you, you can sprinkle cinnamon and powdered sugar. And this is what we got. Nice golden. And we also bought like kind of like a meat, meat pastries. Then we took number 15, back where we started, switched to number 758 going up to get on the famous Tram 28 going east to see the viewpoint. And what a viewpoint it was. Wow. If you wanted to take a three-wheeler tuk-tuk, it would only cost 10 euros from there to see the more sites. Fortunately, Tram number 28 took us to Romario's famous seafood which is as seen on TV from Anthony Bourdain and Andrew Zimmerman from Bazaar Food. We arrived at 5 o'clock, wasn't much people. We first had these seashells uh, that taste like snail. I would skip this one. But the crab that we ordered was tasty and very rich. I mean, just look at the crab sauce on the shell. And then we also had these giant prawns. Yes, these are prawns, not lobster. And then look at the size of this crab claw. Crab claw was just unreal, huge. The next day, we were able to use our 24 hour Metro pass to the airport back to Terracera Island. From there, uh, we did one more bus trip, taking number 141 to San Mateus to eat fresh fish from, uh, from the fisherman's village. Make sure you get off at this gas station and go, and you can go back where the guy is sitting. Again, here's the, here's the gas station and the person will go back where the person's sitting. And the bus comes uh, every hour, just check the uh, Rome de Rio app for the time schedule. And here's the restaurant we went and it has a great view overlooking the ocean. It was 12 o'clock and plenty of seats available. As I was told, it gets busy at night. First we had the fish soup and also our first experience with the barnacles. I liked it a lot, and to me, it tasted like creamy, soft shell crab. This is how you open it. Um, it doesn't look too appetizing, but trust me, it does taste good. And then we had uh, we ordered the sea bream, which is on the left, and then the big-eyed redfish on the right, and we also ordered the shrimp and the redfish skewers. I think I should have asked them about the live fish in the tank. <laughs> then it would have really been fresh. Uh, here's how it was served with potatoes and yam and broccoli. Every tasted, everything tasted really yummy. And then just look at the size of this fish eyeball. And all this was just under 40 euros. 
since we had an hour to spare, uh, we just hang around the water and just relaxed. And, and that's it for this vacation, seven days. It was very enjoyable. If you want more details, just look at the description below. And if you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe. Thank you.